So with a larger RTU or a more advanced refrigeration system, we can stage compressors many times in order to increase or decrease load through the refrigeration system. Well, when we get into centrifugals, we don't have, like, we've got one big compressor. We're not going to stage up multiple compressors. Now, you have chillers that have scroll compressors, like a CGAM by Train, as an example, and those will stage up and down. Daikin, York, they all have theirs. And so every time we need to increase capacity to make the, the leaving water set point that we're trying to get, we have to stage compressors up and down. And screw compressors use a slide valve. We'll do more content on that stuff in the future. But the point is, how does a centrifugal do it? Well, we have a device called a IGV, Inlet Guide Vane. York refers to theirs as a PRV, or pre-rotation vein. And there's a lot going on when you're dealing with that. The short version of that is we're using these paddles in the inlet side or the suction side of the centrifugal compressor. And as we open and close these paddles, they act like a valve almost. So you could think of a valve where you can throttle it to control how much flow goes through it. Well, we're using these guide vanes to do the same thing. So if we need to reduce load on the compressor and, and stage it down, if you will, we're going to close those veins off and it's going to let less refrigerant through. If we need to increase the, the staging or the load so that we can do more cooling action, well, then we're going to open them up. And there's a lot of variables that goes into when, how, why. There's, we have to pay attention to things like lift. Not only are we just doing that plus trying to just, we have to maintain a set point. In short, that is how a centrifugal compressor is controlling its ability to stage up and down is through those guide vanes. Now there are some compressors out there that get a little more fancy, something like a YMC squared, for example, they've got fixed guide vanes. So that's where you get into variable speed technology and you get into using a, diff a VGD in the diffuser, variable geometry diffuser in order to control load, which we'll dive into that. Those are far more advanced topics. That is not your common every day. So if you hear any of that kind of stuff, don't let it freak you out. End of the day, the basic concept to understand is the essential design for a centrifugal, you have your IGVs or PRV, depending on brand, those open, close, that increases or decreases flow of refrigerant by increasing or decreasing flow, we are increasing or decreasing how much refrigerant moves, which changes how much we can control the load and we create a cooling effect. That's it. If you'd like to learn more about this, I do have some chiller courses at chilleracademy.com. With that, MTT, make the time for your family, for your spouse, for your kids. I'll see y'all around.